You know how they always tell you that salt and sodium is, re is like the main reason for your bloating or whatever else is uh, problematic in your body? That's not right. Let's talk about it. Hey there, njroot22.com here with another low carb keto carnivore chat. And today it's going to be about bloating and inflammation. And I want to tell you right now, I'm going to have a little bit of wine here. I am drinking wine because uh, we're sort of low on, on uh, inventory. So I'm drinking some red wine. So give me a second, okay? Ah, man, refreshing. Especially when you have a lot of other crap on your plate. But um, I want to tell you one thing about when you're low carb and especially carnivore or carnivore light, when you just eat red meat and you're fine and like weeks, weeks go by, months go by, we don't really put anything uh, like invasive or detrimental to your health in your body. And then when you do put something detrimental into your body, you know it, like you know it immediately. It's ridiculously freaking easy to identify. I'm gonna give you an example. We had a party for our oldest child, but we had like fucking $300 worth of food from a caterer. There were chicken fingers and filet mignon and, and pasta. I didn't eat the pasta. Obviously, I would never eat the pasta. And like nobody thinks about the one person in the whole like group that, that doesn't eat that stuff, but that's fine. Because I always find I'll either not eat it or but they had these filet mignon tips and they had a gravy on it. There was carrots and whatever in it. And I knew there was flour in their gravy mix. And I ate like, I don't know, five filet mignon tips. They were really good pieces of meat, but uh, there was wheat in it and flour or whatever, wheat-based flour. And uh, I also had some uh, chicken fingers and they were not heavily breaded. They were very lightly uh, coated. And my guess is it was egg and maybe like a, a dusting of flour. Flour is wheat and A, I, I ate them and I wanted more. That proves that carbohydrates and especially wheat are very addictive. And the next day and that night, and I just didn't feel right. I, I got, I just felt bloated. So co commercially prepared food. I didn't, I don't have any idea what they cooked it in. It could have been, it was definitely not coconut oil, but it, they probably cooked it in vegetable oil or some sort of canola oil. And that's not good. And, uh, like when you're, when you go months on end, just eating meat or bacon or eggs or just not cooking your own food, not eating commercially available food, your body, you just don't think about it. You never, you never feel bad. But when you eat this commercially available food, especially with some carbs and even light amounts of carbs, chicken fingers coated in flour, they probably has like two or three grams of carbs per chicken finger. But the carbs are, are, I mean, the wheat-based carbs, especially flour, white flour, is very inflammatory. You just, just don't feel good for days on end. It's been like two or three days since this party, and I just don't feel right. And it, that's just awful. And I want to finish this uh, video uh, about salt. They always said salt is inflammatory and salt is bloating. I'm going to tell you right now, I disagree with that. It's not salt. It's the carbs and mostly the inflammatory based um, carbs like wheat because I mean, I actually did a video uh, recently or a couple months ago. I don't know. I have no idea of what time is, but where I, I was actually eating ha handfuls of salt uh, just to see if that affected my hangover and whether that my electrolytes were being um, diminished because of the alcohol and I didn't feel bloated the next day eating extra salt. It had nothing to do with the salt. It's the, it's the freaking carbs. I, I cannot figure out any other uh, uh, explanation to it. Um, 
you know, one day I will take a course that figure that, that helps me figure out how not to say um. Maybe I should I should um, what do you call it? Uh, rehearse my script. Everything here is 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 train of thought with a little bit of I have like ten bullet points. I, I, I never go into I never write a full script for my for my videos. But salt doesn't do anything to us. Salt is fine. Sea salt. Don't forget sea salt. Uh, table salt and regular ordinary processed salt is is in fact bad for you. Look up the book Salt Your Way to Health and then it's, there's no other books. It's like the only one. I mean, I, I'm still wondering if I'm being duped, but I'll tell you right now, sea salt never gives me a problem. Table salt does. So that's it. If you like the video, please hit subscribe and the bell and all that. I mean, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a fancy blogger or a vlogger yet. Maybe one day I'll have like 12 cameras and we'll do all sorts of fast editing where it's one second each. I don't know if you've seen any of the videos out there that get a 10 trillion views, but they're the ones that are like so fast and, and like I can't even watch it. There's no conversation. There's no like, I'm looking at you. Please talk to me. Let's have a discussion in the comments or on my blog, njroot22.com and so on. But anyway, like, subscribe. Please, 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 please. I need your help. I'd like to get monetized one of these days. Uh, 40 something uh, uh, subscribers is pathetic. Have a nice day and I'll see you next week.